Chip. Chip. This land is your land. This land is my land. I'm a Texas tiger. You're a liberal wiener. I'm a great crusader. You're a Herman Munster. This land will surely vote for me. This land is your land. This land is my land. I'm an intellectual. You're a stupid dumbass. I'm a Purple Heart winner. And yes, it's true, I won it thrice. This land will surely vote for me. You have more waffles than a house of pancakes. You offer flip-flops. I offer tax breaks. You're a UN pussy. And yes, it's true that I kick ass. Ha! This land will surely vote for me. You can't say nuclear. That really scares me. Sometimes a brain can come in quite handy. But it's not gonna help you. Because I won three purple hearts. This land will surely vote for me. Ah! You're a liberal sissy. You're a right-wing nut job. You're a pinko commie. You're dumb as a doorknob. Hey, you got that Botox. But I still won three purple hearts. This land will surely vote for me. This land was my land. But now it's our land. From California to the New York Island. What I do? From the liberal wieners to the right wing nut jobs. This land belongs. This land belongs. This land belongs to you and me. Yeah. Oh, and Dick Cheney too. Oh, I wish our winning were a bit more certain. Better call my friends at Halliburton. We will pay. So we stay. Rule the day. DC land. I'm sensitive. I cannot lie. I'd love to hug and kiss this guy. Are they gay? We won't say. On our way. DC land. It's good to be in DC. Hooray! Hooray! With oil funds. Ketchup. Cute buns. That's how we got to DC. You twit. Each. That's how we talk in DC. Take note. Go vote. Or we'll choose who goes to DC. I'm Dan Rather and I approve this message. Kinda. Sorta. Of. Not really. It's good to be in DC. I'm gay. I'm gay! We tossed our medals, burned our bras. <laughs> we even did menage a what I do? Most guys take sides. I go both ways in DC. Take note, go vote that you want me in DC. Do you swear to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution? You betcha. Yes, I'm coming back to serve a second term. This time I won the national election. Oh, thanks to you, Ohio, and your brother Jebediah. We get four more years to rule in Washington. Good God, he's coming back to serve a second term. We were hoping in 04 we'd get a turn. But we lost the vicious battle. Now they're stuck without a paddle. Who will save us from conservatism? I will stabilize Iraq in a second term. And I will amend the Constitution. Then I'll eliminate the taxes that are breaking all our backs.
answers and push for more privatization. We cannot believe he won a second term. He destroyed the transatlantic alliance. Heck, I'll extend a friendly offer. Barbecue and beers and copper. And the fence is broken by preemption. We want peace on the throughout his second term. We want Iraqis to have free elections. There's a beef here, let's dispatch it. And bury that old hatchet. Yes, we've been through stormy weather. Now it's time to walk together. Gather round the old chuck wagon. It's a grand time we'll be having in the four years I have left in Washington. Yeehaw! Run again. The life I love is living with big sweaty men. Looks like I am on the run again. On the run again. I'm the only one in the world who's not filled with sin. <laughs> Hope they don't find this cave I'm hiding in. Looks like I am on the run again. I'm a terrorist. Twisting up the ancient words of Islam. America's peace, and soon they're going to be dropping more bombs and more bombs. On the run again. Looks like I am on the run again. There is no country who would ever let me in. Looks like I am on the run again. Did anybody smell something burning? Hey, where'd everybody go? Mr. President, what time is it? Time to bomb Saddam. Time to bomb Saddam. Go him to kingdom come. Time to bomb Saddam. All together. It's time to bomb Saddam. All together. It's time to bomb Saddam. All together. Let's go him to kingdom come. All together. It's time to bomb Saddam. All together. It's time to bomb Saddam. All together. It's time to bomb Saddam. All together. Let's go him to kingdom come. All together. It's time to bomb Saddam.
Yeah, with oil, it breaks down like this. It's legal to buy it, and it's legal to own it. And if you're the owner of an oil field, it's legal to sell it. It's legal to carry it, which doesn't really matter, because <laughs> get a load of this. If the army stop you, it's illegal for them to search you. Searching you is a right the army in Iraq don't have. That did it, man. I'm freaking invading. That's all there is to it. You dig it the most? You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in Iraq? What'd they call it? Little camel with cheese. Little camel with cheese. What'd they call a whopper in Baghdad? I don't know. Your father wouldn't let us go into Baghdad. Maybe we should have you in support for this kind of deal. So how many are in there? Three or four hundred thousand. Counting our guys? I'm not sure. So there could be like five hundred thousand guys here? It's possible. Man, we should have you in support for this. You remember Rush Limbaugh? Used to have a radio talk show? Fat, right? I, I wouldn't go so far as to call the brother fat. I mean, he got a weight problem. What's a Republican going to do? Have you ever given a foot massage? Hell yeah. I got my technique down and everything. I don't be tickling or nothing. Would you give a Democrat a foot massage? Man, you best back off. Osama, you know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in Iraq? Little camel with cheese? Check out the big brain on Osama. <laughs> One drink and leave. Don't be rude, but drink your drink quickly. Say good night. I've had a very lovely evening. Put your cigar in your pocket and go home to Hillary. And that's all you're going to do. Ow, this is Bill. I'm in big trouble, man. Bill, don't bring her here. You're not bringing some intern with a stained dress to my house. Who is this? Prank caller, prank caller. Little George, your father hid the weapons of mass destruction in the only place he could hide them. Up his What is your name? George Bush. Bush. What does that name mean, Bush? Nick, I specifically reminded you not to forget the weapons of mass destruction. Now think, did you get them? Uh, I believe so. Are you sure? Uh, no. Dang it, Simpson! Hey, Rush, bring out the gimp. I'm afraid the gimp is sleeping. What is your name? Colin Powell. Colin. What does that name mean? Colin. Am I talking Rumsfeld? First I'm gonna call me a couple of hard-hidden Palestinians to come in here and get Middle Eastern on you. If I'm curt with you, it's because time is a factor. I think fast, I talk fast, and I need you guys to act fast if you want to get out of this. So pretty please, with sugar on top, don't vote for Ralph Nader. What is your name? Uh, Dick Cheney. Dick. What does that name mean? Dick. I love you, pumpkin. I love you too, honey bunny. There's a passage I got memorized, kind of fits this occasion. Ezekiel 25:17. The path of the Republican man is beset on all sides by the inequities of the Democrats and the tyranny of liberal men. Blessed is he who, in the name of capitalism and free trade, shepherds the CEO through the valley of loopholes, for he is truly his shareholder's keeper and the finder of outrageous tax breaks. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to indict and imprison my brothers. And you will know I am the Secretary of State when I lay my rhetoric upon you. I've been saying that for years, and if you ever heard it, it meant that you were about to be impeached. I never really questioned what it meant, I, I just thought it was a cold-blooded thing to say to a liberal hippie before you increased military spending. But I saw something on CNN this morning, made me think twice. Now I'm thinking, it could mean that you're a liberal man, and I'm the Republican man. Mr. Weapons of Mass Destruction here, he's the shepherd protecting my conservative booty in the Valley of Loopholes. Or it could mean that you're a Republican man, and I'm the shepherd, and it's the world that's liberal and tree-hugging. I'd like that, but that ain't the truth. The truth is, is that you're the viewer and I'm the Secretary of State. And I'm trying. I'm trying real hard to reach the end of this damn cartoon.